To Pakistan now, where a woman was mobbed on the streets of Lahore. Why? Because she was wearing a kurta, a shirt, with an Arabic print on it. Her clothes had random words in Arabic. The crowd mistook it for verses of the Quran. So they surrounded her, raised slogans, and asked her to remove the dress. At the end, she had to be rescued by the police. The woman is safe now. She has apologized for no fault of hers. But imagine what would have happened had the police not arrived on time. Our next report tells you about Pakistan's mob fury. It was a normal day in Lahore. This woman had stepped out to shop with her husband. She was in a restaurant when suddenly a crowd surrounded her. Why? Because of her clothes. The woman was wearing a normal kurta, but it had Arabic words on it. Nothing special. The dress had the Arabic word for beautiful. But the crowd didn't understand that. They thought it was verses of the Quran. They thought she was disrespecting the Quran. For them, it was blasphemy. Around 300 people gathered. The mob surrounded her. They raised slogans. They wanted her to take her dress off. Some even threatened to behead her. Amid all this, the woman stood alone. She was covering her face. She was scared. She didn't know what the mob could do next. That's when the police came in. They were called to the restaurant. They tried to pacify the crowd, but it was all in vain. That's when a female police officer jumped into action. Officer Nakvi tried to negotiate with the crowd. She had some success there. She went inside the restaurant and started helping the scared woman. The woman then changed into a burqa. She covered her face and finally got out of the restaurant. The police formed a chain around her. She was then escorted to the police station. Muslim scholars were called to the station. They confirmed that it was just Arabic calligraphy, not the verses of the Quran. But still, the woman apologized. She was not at fault, yet she still said she didn't want to hurt anyone. She was in Lahore to do some shopping and has since left the city. The chief of Punjab police is now calling for Nakvi to receive an award for her bravery. Blasphemy is punishable by death in Pakistan. Blasphemy convictions are common in the country. At least 50 people are in custody over blasphemy charges. But many are lynched to death, even before any judicial trial. They are usually killed by mobs, even if the allegations aren't proven. Since 1990, at least 85 people have been killed just over blasphemy allegations. Some parties have even called for blasphemers to be beheaded. In August 2023, a mob burnt Christian churches and houses in Faisalabad. They accused the community of desecrating the Quran. The blasphemy law is often used against Pakistan's minorities. This incident could have escalated if the police did not reach on time. And all of this happened just a day before Punjab got its first female chief minister. Maryam Nayaz will now rule the state. But can she keep the mob under control?